So guys, welcome back to another one, and yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into it, and guys, you can already see it, man, I'm using the King of Grand Cross PvP once again, and yes, I'm talking about our boy Marmos here, so if you don't know why I have our boy Marmos here, is one, I really do like Marmos, because a lot of people just underestimate him, and two, every time a new character comes out, I always try him with Marmos, because Marmos, like I said he is the goat and he does a lot so first of all his holy relic i do have his holy relic what his holy relic does is when marmos enters the battle he instantly gets five ultimate move gauges and you already know what that means he instantly gets his ultimates so what his ultimate does is when you use his ultimate for three turns you lower the defense related stats for all enemies so the lower the defense related stats are the more damage you're actually gonna do right not only that he also has a lot more debuff cards and a lot more defense related debuff cards right then that's not the only thing he does here for demon king melee because his passive is actually huge so what his passive does is every single uh speed expert character in your team gets 30 percent more hp related stats and wouldn't you know or demon king meliodas is a speed attribute character right here so he gets 30 percent more uh hp related stats and like i said not only that if they are debuffed we do a lot more damage on them so today we are like i said using the de new demon king meliodas we are using marmots of course a queen elizabeth to have that revive buff going for our Marmos, of course, because when he dies, he actually gets revived, right? So we have a lot more chance to do the debuffs. Then, of course, we have got the one Escanor in the back, just because he is our boy too, right? He's just here for the CC, and if our Marmos dies, he just swoops in, he nukes, he wins, and that's it. So, of course, with that being said, guys, if you like this sort of content, of course, consider liking, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and it honestly makes my day. And with that being said, guys, if you're going to summon on the new Demon King Meliodas, of course, I wish the best of luck, and I I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day and honestly i think this is going to be quite fun so let's get on to our first match here so for our first match of today we are up against a unknown team we do out cc him and he is actually using a pretty interesting team so if you don't know what he's trying to do here is the more debuff someone has in the enemy team the more damage he does here and he does not have the merlin holy relic that doesn't actually matter but he does have his albedo holy relic so what we are gonna do here is we're gonna lower the defensive related stats then we are gonna aoe and you know what let's just aoe again let's just do a double aoe here or you know what let's just single out a, a, a target attack because the more we single target attack and the more we attack with our meliodas the sooner he's enlightened and the better he he is right um so we did actually do quite a lot of damage with the aoe there okay so in the next turn we get our marmasa ultimate you love to see it unfortunately no uh meliodas uh, attacks but i think we should be fine here okay so he's gonna put up a taunt for sure and he has a nanashi in the back too so he gives him a lot more buffs than that team and let's see okay he aoe's that's perfectly fine and okay let's see even if my Marmos dies here, right, he gets revived by the list passive, so I think we should be okay. Um, is, does that or Marmos actually have, like, a uh, Red Tarmia link? No, he does not. Why didn't I put Red Tarmia link on her? I put Red Tarmia link on her list. You know what? That's fine, too. But I think it's a little bit more smart to put Red Tarmia link on or uh, on our Marmos, actually. Um, you know what? Let's actually do the ultimate. Let's do this. And after that, let's just... Uh, Let's just move that list card. And now we do the ultimate. The ultimate's not going to do any damage here, but we do lower his defense for latest stats by 60%. So they're a double lowered now. So we should do more damage here. Okay, so let's see. He does an AoE. Perfectly fine. Marmos gets revived. Even though if our Marmos dies here, we are still fine. Like, ironically, we are still fine, guys. No need to worry. He Marmos did his job, right? He did his job. And now we got our uh, Queen Elizabeth ultimate too. Damn, man. We are in. We are in. Wait, actually, do we still have the ultimates? Um, yeah, we do, but we can't attack. <laughs> you know what? That's fine, though, because we have the level 2 as uh, AoE with our melee. So let's do the level 2. I think that's going to wipe. Um, yeah, I think that's going to wipe. Maybe not the Albedo, though, because he has the Nanashi boss, but I think it should wipe. So let's do that. Let's do a uh, AoE with our Liz afterwards. I know the Liz is not going to AoE here, but still. So, okay, a level 2 AoE with our melee, and look at that massive damage. 611k. Just because of our Marmos, man. Unironically, just because of our Marmos. Marmos is the GOAT, man. I keep saying it. Like, his uh, defense-lowering stats are, like, actually insane. 
like look at that like 600k damage with a level two just imagine with a level three right just imagine um okay so we won or uh we won our uh, first match. Yeah, he gives up. Honestly, I get it. So with that being said, guys, let's get on to our second match of today. So for our second match of today, we are up against a demon team and we do out CC him. You love to see it. Okay, he's using Red Tarmia Link on his Demon King, but honestly, I think we should be fine. Okay, so first of all, let's actually focus this Esterosa here. Um, let's begin with the debuff. Then let's begin with the level one single target attack. After that, let's actually do a level two AoE. Okay, so we uh, defense lower him with 30% and actually 60k damage with a level 1 single target attack. No buffs whatsoever, you'll love to see it. And a level 2 AoE, 188k damage. There goes the Esterosa. The Demon King half HP and he has... Is that an LR Escanor? I actually don't know. But he has the new Escanor uh, costume, man. And of course the Sacred Axe Rita. I really love that axe, man. I really love that axe. Sacred Axe Rita. If you don't know how you could get him, uh, back in the day when Escanor just released, right? Just released... Um, you could actually buy it from the shop. No way. Is he actually... Oh, man. He 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 got my Marmos, man. He got my Marmos. But you know what? They are still defense lowered, right? They are not defense lowered anymore. Man, that sucks. You know what, though? You know what? We are going to get revenge for him at, right now. We are literally getting revenge for him right now. So let's actually destroy the Demon King. But like I said... Um, how you could actually get the Sacred X Rita is uh, back in the day when the uh, Escanor just came out, right? If I'm correct, like Red Escanor, when he just came out, you could actually buy it in the shop and like never again, right? Never again, if I'm correct about it. So it is like a good two years or like three years uh, has passed since that Sacred X Rita was actually obtainable in the game. So that they brought it back in the boss battle, like that's actually huge because I really wanted that. And on my global, I know for a fact I'm going to get that one because I have my Escanor LR and I just really, really like that axe. Okay, so um, enough, enough yabbing and blabbering about uh, nonsense. So what we are going to do is a single target attack, another single target attack, and then a AOE, I reckon. I think that's the best play. So we single target attack him with our Escanor, the one ultimate, 34k damage, not a lot, 55, okay, that's fine. Then we single target attack him again with our melee, 50k damage. Then we do an AoE just because uh, we can, <laughs> just because we can. And, okay, he still has his ultimate, that's unfortunate, and that's not an LR Escanor, I just noticed that. Um, that's fine, that's absolutely fine. Where's our revive passive actually with our Liz? Don't we have a revive passive this turn? Ooh, okay, we are still alive, but only with our Liz. And now we got our ultimate too. Okay, this is actually like Erno Runnel Key, a pretty damn close match. So we still win though, we still win. So I'm gonna let this in because of course this is PvP. Uh, you can't win all. Well, we won or uh, we won our second match too, but unfortunately, uh, not without a scratch. But we did win. We prevailed. So with that being said, guys, let's get on to our third match, where hopefully our Marmos will be alive in the next turn. So for our third and I think our last match of today, we are up against a seven deadly sins team. We do out CC him. You actually love to see it. And let's see. Okay, he is using a Taunt Diane. Does he have the Diane Holy Relic? He does not. That's actually pretty huge for us. So let's actually begin with the defense lower, then do an AoE and a single target attack actually on the Bond because that Bond is gonna he's gonna be annoying, man. I already know that. Uh, let's see. Okay, 108k damage. Actually not too bad. Then almost 40k damage with the single target attack. Okay, okay. I see you, Meli. I see you. Then we, of course, have our Marmos ultimate. Hopefully, he's not going to ultimate our Marmos. I'm really hoping he's still alive after this. So what we're going to do in the next turn is just... Oh, come on. Come on, Marmos. Okay. In our realm, yeah, I think even if he dies, like, he gets revived. Right? Okay, he is not going for my Marmos. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's do our Marmos ults. Then we do an AoE and a single target attack. I think that's the play, right? Or you know what? Let's actually begin with the single target attack and then do the AoE. Because I think if I'm correct about this, or Melly is gonna be uh he's gonna be enlightened, right? Okay, so we begin with the Marmos ult. So 60k, uh not 60k, I'm sorry, 60% defense lower there. Okay, my melee is not uh, not uh like enlightened. Now he's enlightened. I didn't predict that correctly, but we are fine, guys. We are fine. No need to worry here. No need to worry. Okay, a level 3 single target attack on our Marmos. He gets revived, though, so that's perfectly fine. Even if he dies, right, he did his job, so 
It is fine. We can't be mad about Marmos. Okay, he does an AoE. There goes our Marmos. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Then he single target attacks or Queen Elizabeth. Okay, that's fine. He got his Diane ult, but I'm not so worried about it. Uh, let's actually combine the cards here. Let's actually go for that melee first. Yeah, I think I think we do this, right? Because, of course, if we take down the Diane there, like, uh, the melee has his ultimate too, right? So he ju he's just gonna get his own ultimate. Okay, we did not take him down there. That's really unfortunate. Okay, he's gonna do his ult with his Diane. Then he is gonna AoE, I reckon, right? Or, like, ult deplete my melee, maybe? Okay, he begins with the ult. Totally fine. We're still alive here. And then he's gonna AoE, like I said, with his melee. Okay, we are still alive here. Then he's gonna level 2 single target attack or Escanor. Ooh, actually coming in clutch. Escanor actually coming in clutch there. And now we do our ultimate and I think we just literally win, right? We just literally win here. Come on now, melee, come on, come on. They are still like defense lowered, no? Yeah, they are still defense lowered. 700k damage, you love to see it. That's what our Marmos can do, man. That's the power of Marmos. And I know, guys, I know, like, the Demon King melee, he can, like, cleanse it, right? He can cleanse it. But the more debuffs he has, he can only, like, cleanse one debuff. So, still, it works. If you, if you have enough debuffs, it works. Uh, so, let's do our uh, a AoE and then our ultimate. And, guys, I don't know what it is. Like, if you have watched, like, not the last video, but, like, the video from two days ago. Every single last unit has, like... A godly amount of RNG. Like the Askenor, <laughs> if you guys remember, right? That Askenor, that one Askenor, if you know what I mean, like comment it down below. That was like horrendous. The RNG there was horrendous. And even with this, uh, Merlin, like he's not using the level threes, that's fine. But like even with this, uh, this like horrendously yeah, lucky. Um, so let's do this and then this and then we win. So, of course, with that being said, guys, if you like this sort of content, consider liking, consider subscribing. Unironically, Marmos the Goat, he's an XLR. I'm just gonna say it. And of course, with that being said, don't take it too seriously. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So, of course, have an awesome rest of your day. And bye bye. And look at the cat. We love the cats.